Well, it is Saturday morning, which means we're all for pets here on Local 4 News today. And this morning, Mike Palmer joins us from Premier Pet Supply. And Mike, we are talking flea and tick prevention. This is the season where you've really got to be aware about that. Yeah, as it starts getting warmer, we've got to be thinking, unfortunately, about fleas and ticks. And they've been pretty bad the past couple of years, so prevention is key. And so why has it been getting worse? So, you know, the, the area that we live in, obviously, high humidity is right. uh, conducive to lots of fleas and ticks. We've got a lot of tall grasses that have grown because there has been some dry spells where it's allowed for that. And when we're taking dogs on, on you know, hikes through the trails or even if our yards back up to the woods and just general walks through the neighborhood, right. um, fleas and ticks are very prevalent. And ticks can be really scary because that could lead to Lyme disease. And, you know, my dog had a tick and it's the first time I'd ever experienced a tick last year. And um, fortunately, I was prepared and it, it worked out really well. And that's important that we make sure everyone knows, you know, what to do. And there's been many conventional flea and tick products like Frontline and Advantix have been around forever. Um, these are topicals that you put between the shoulder blades and run a stripe down the back of the dog or cat. Uh, these work, these work well, you do them monthly. Um, but you have to keep in mind that they, they are a pesticide, they are effective, but you know, most of our customers like to err on the side of caution and use natural preventatives. So there's some great products out there. One of my favorites, our favorites in general is uh, Wonderside. Wonderside uses primarily cedar oil, cedar wood oil, along with other different types of natural oils that help to kill and repel, repel first and foremost, because that's the hope is that we don't have to worry about the infestation. But if you spray this daily and even a couple times a day, this will repel uh, fleas, it will repel uh, ticks. It stops them through their entire life cycle, mm. which is fantastic. It also works for mosquitoes and nobody likes mosquitoes. So I use this on myself. I use this with my kids whenever we're out and doing things where there could be mosquitoes. It's a great product to have on hand. So quick question, um, you mentioned that is, you mentioned that you had to deal with, uh, your dog had what, t uh, ticks or fleas? A, a, a tick, a and tick. it was actually something that really surprised us, and it was embedded in my, my dog's ear. And fortunately, and what I would implore everyone to do is have a product that does remove ticks. They're very inexpensive okay. just to have them on hand. What's really important is you have to know that you're removing the entire tick because what a tick will do is it will embed its head inside and under the skin. Oh. And if you just rip the tick off, that head will still stay in there and that's where it can infect and uh, potentially cause disease with your animal. So you wanna make sure you get in there, you dig in there and you gotta really rip it out. Um, it's not pleasant, but a product like uh, this here, the Tick Tornado, there's Tick Twisters, um, there's tools that are uh, very simple to have on hand that are a really good idea to get rid of those ticks. They work on people too, so it's a, it's a great tool to have in the bag. Well, thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate it. Of course, as you mentioned, this is the season to be uh, thinking about tick and flea prevention. I'm glad you were able to spot that one on your pup. Thank you. All right, thanks, Mike.